good evening guys uh, so uh, this video will talk about uh, wheel curb and uh, if you already uh, know if you have ever used this wheel curb uh, then i uh, just would like to tell you that this time we'll talk about not the you know the wheel curb which we generally use um, you know uh, when we actually work on excel uh, i have a s uh, some special thing for you this time and i'm sure this would be a great surprise for you and uh, this is something which would give you uh, you know to know uh, we look up you know um, uh, from a different angle actually and uh, so what we exactly are going to do is uh, we are going to discuss uh, the approximate we look up approximate match right um, you might have if you have if you would have used this VLOOKUP then uh, let, let me actually first prepare the data and then you know uh, let's start uh, this uh, you know conversation so let's say I have some employee IDs here uh, not the employee IDs but maybe I think to explain this uh, the date form I think would look better uh, so I'm just writing some dates here and uh, let me just drag them alright so uh, I have a date uh, let's just put some numbers over here okay and uh, let's say uh, sales done on this date is uh, let's say $100, $120, $344 566 333 whatever I meant to say the suggested dummy numbers now what you want to do is um, I'm if I ask you that you know how can actually you can use the VLOOKUP here uh, so if, if you need to look out for some uh, specific values like for example in this table I have here date and uh, I'm going to write some date here uh, let's say 19 and then couple of more dates let's just drag it and over here you want to check actually what was the sale the sale amount done you know on these dates this is your main primary table and this table might be having let's say 10,000 rows or maybe you know 1,000 so this is just a dummy data for you but this is the primary data now the question is that I'm not going to talk about the exact match but here we are going to discuss about the approximate VLOOKUP why we, why we use it and where exactly is the requirement so the thing is uh, as you can see here uh, let me just paste value this first remove the formula and uh, I'm going to add here uh, date let's say 24th which is not in my data and then again over here on this first I'm going to write here let's say uh, 3rd of July right alright and uh, just go to the format cells and uh, let's uh, change this to another format of date so I have just pressed control 1 or you can right click it and you can go to the format cells and from here I'll just do this formatting because it is going to be helpful then for you to check the results now see what happens is that you are into a market let's say I'm just you know taking a hypothetical uh, situation to give you a understanding where exactly you can use this you know approximate we look up so what happens is that uh, you have started your the sales company let's say and you bought this data from somewhere to see the historical trend you know or maybe that's your data the last year data and this might be uh, some new data right so the point is uh, if you see that if you use the VLOOKUP over here and you want to check that you know what was the sale done on the 19 then you know that you know this is going to be your lookup value and this is going to be your column number and this is how you actually use the VLOOKUP right and I'm going to drag this formula down and not to your surprise but I'm getting the error for uh, 24th june and third of july because of the fact that i don't see any value here right there is no 24th of june and there is no third uh, of july and because of this reason uh, i have actually these values as not applicable so now what i'm going to do is um, i'm just trying to actually give this a date format uh, you know better better way actually so 
now we have this our own table so what exactly we are going to do is um, when you use the VLOOKUP you see here that when you use this lookup value and you select this table like this and this is the second is the column index number because this is the sales term and when you press this comma what the last parameter says is that approximate match or false so generally we always use zero 99 percent of the time we look up is used with the zero so zero means exact match you are looking for the exact date and this is what i have used here in this column i and uh, that's because of this zero that 24th june is not you know uh, b um, searched here and excel said that you know 24th june is not available so it has actually given you this na right it has not found that value so now where we actually use that approximate match so approximate match is used where you exactly not looking for the exact data what you want to do is you want to get the nearest value right for example if 24 june data is not available but you just want to get some data so that you can do some analysis on the trend right so you would like to use uh, some another date which is the nearest date of uh, to this 24th of june and which would be what which would be it could be 23rd of june it could be 22nd of june or it could be any other date which actually falls before this you know which comes before this 24th of june the date has to be uh, smaller than you know this uh, 24th of june and which has to be the small uh, smaller and at the same time the closest one so that is why uh, we use this approximate uh, approximate match there and in order to use the approximate match either you can write the true or you can simply say one instead of the uh, zero right and now let's see what will happen whether we'll get the errors or not so i'm just dragging this formula and now you see that i have got here 100 344 333 5, 6, 6, 2, 2, 3. so there is no value which is now returning me the error you know na because of the fact that i have used this approximate match so what exactly is happening uh, when you work on the approximate match it says that if 19 june it is going to find it is going to return the value so i have here 100 when it comes to the 24th jan then what will happen is your vlookup will start searching the value for the 24th and when it sees that you know you have mentioned here not the exact match but uh, approximate match which is the one which you know indicates one indicates uh, by one it looks for the nearest value to the tw 24th of jan but remember guys this has to be the shorter date you know the smaller than this 24th jan it can't be greater than that right uh, so when it comes here it checks that the nearest date is 23rd of june because up thereafter you see that you check all the dates I, uh, the next date is 25th of june so ultimately it is going to be the greater <coughs> than this 24th of june so it is not return it will not return you this but it will return you this 344 because this is what exactly is the nearest date and you can see here that even 21st of june is not going to be counted here in this case right it is telling you 344 because 23rd is the nearest date now we can do further you know more of research and development on this and we can s uh, try to understand this you know uh, by taking some more examples so let's uh, let's assume that let's try to do one thing let me first paste value this so that i should get rid of my formulas now uh, instead of 23rd uh, june uh, maybe i can do one thing why don't we put the 24th of june 24th of june so 24th of june and i'm gonna change the number let's say two so you can see here that if 24 june is exactly you know it is going to be found in this table it will immediately return this value but however if it is not going to be at 24 june then no problem it will give you the value of the nearest date so that's why on this uh, principle you know to uh, this approximate uh, vlookup actually works so uh, you know uh, crux is that where you want the numbers uh, you are doing some analysis or maybe you you believe that the data has not to be exactly you know very consistent and very true you know it is fine with you even if you get some hypothetical or maybe some you know kind of a uh, I would say the approximation you know in the numbers uh, so you just want to do some analysis and for those analysis you just need some numbers but those numbers are not even you know those numbers which does not have anything to do with your primary data as you can see here we have created this table so whatever the numbers are being picked that they are actually picked from here so from there when you know that uh, you have some there might be some values which are not 
going to be found in the main table but at the same time it doesn't matter to you you know you just want that if the exact numbers are there then that's fine if the exact numbers are not there then maybe you know uh, it can actually go to the nearest values and it can pick up those values for that right so one thing very important which you need to know is which i'm going to show you right away uh, if i'm going to write here uh, let's say uh, this 23rd is um, the nearest date right so maybe i can do one thing uh, maybe after this 23rd over here um, i can do something like this let me just create this 23rd here uh, 23rd or maybe let's say I'll say 25th I'm just trying to change the data and I'm going to show you that there is there can be one problem in this data and that thing you need to always remember so what we will do is um, uh, I'm going to write this uh, 23rd over here okay and uh, here I'll uh, We'll start with the let's just put some another value uh, let me put 22nd here okay and uh, let me change this to as well and let's put let's say again 21st and this has to be let's say uh, 7 that's fine right all right now if you have observed then uh, we are getting here uh, for this 19th of June we are not getting any data here right ideally we should have got some value here because we have used the approximate match so it should not return the actually the error right but there is no value here right and uh, so I assume that you know uh, the nearest value to this 19 June would be what it would be 18 17 or you know some uh, a date which actually falls before this 19 June and in my table there is no as such you know there is no date every date is greater than 19th of June so that means that the, that's the first thing if approximate VLOOKUP when you're applying it is not going to find uh, the nearest match you know a match a value which is the closest one but it has to be you know shorter than the lookup value then again it is going to give you this na right so we don't have any date which falls before 19 june however if i'm going to change here let's say a date let's say 7th of june and i press enter right now again you see that this 7th of june is triple uh, three but i'm not getting here any you know the value ideally it should have picked this 7th of june you know because it is it comes before 19th of june and it is for now uh, if we see in the you know ascending order then that's the date which comes the uh, which is the closest one to this 19th of january so what exactly is the problem with this data and let's uh, check for the 24th of june as well so for 24th of june uh, i have the value here is triple three so triple three is which is again uh, let's first find it out this 7th of June now you can check here that again this is again wrong because 24 June should give me uh, you know ideally it should have given me this 100 because 20 23rd of June is the nearest date to this 24th not the 7th of June right so what exactly is the problem now the problem is this that that your data has to be sorted in ascending order if you want to use approximate match in VLOOKUP just remember this guy guys right this is very important and uh, that's why I just wanted to give you a you know uh, this practical example because uh, I could have uh, wrapped up this video by simply saying that you know that you have to uh, just ensure that the data has to be sending and that's fine but no that's not the motive you know that if you would have seen my rest of the 88 uh, videos which are uploaded till date uh, you see that you know I always tr actually try to explain at least you know from my side I try to explain it in a way that it should be useful to you you know you should not actually uh, get something you know in a 
I would say ready-made way you know that somebody has said to so we'll just remember it I have just shown you the live example now the moment I'm going to sort this out I'm gonna sort this by date and you can see here that it is oldest to newest so it means the ascending order and the moment I click OK you see here that my data is now correctly aligned this 19th of June is now giving me triple three which is actually should be the case which is this 7th of June is the nearest the closest date to the 19th of June right so let's go to the next date 24th of June 24th of June 22nd June is the uh, closer but I think 20, um, um, not I think I, you can see here that 23rd June is actually the closest one you know to this 24th of June and we have got the 100 here let's come to the 27th of June so I have here 25th of June not available so ideally it should give me what 25th of June so 25th of June is here 5666 so that's again correct 3rd of July is not again here so it, is, it should give me 1st of July date which is 5666 let me just try to change the number so I'll get the number here you know 2111 and similarly for let's uh, check out for the 5th of July so for the 5th of July again the 1st July is the nearest right so it's giving me again the same value which is 2111 now please remember the before I wrap up that 5th of July uh, you may think that you know if I'm going to write here 8th of July you may s think that 8th of July is going to be the nearest date not the 1st of July but as I said that 8th of July is going to be the greater than this you know uh, 5th of July so that's because of this reason that it will always pick the nearest closest value but it has to be the shorter than this the look of value right so that's uh, with the same that I'll come up with some more videos and I'll, you know talk about some more features on the Excel um, I'm just wrapping up this video and uh, do watch uh, uh, there are a couple of more videos on the VLOOKUP and uh, some I have uh, you know uploaded videos on VLOOKUP uh, with the combination like F and then uh, left right and then mid and then if error and then row and there are a number of functions which I have actually used with VLOOKUP you know I have combined those functions uh, with these and in order to show you that VLOOKUP is just not a VLOOKUP formula as I did you know in this video so watch out for those videos as well and do subscribe to my channel I'll come up with some more videos and thank you so much for watching have a good day